Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back for another Eurovision 2024 reaction. This time it's the home of Queen Valentina Moneta. It's the most serene republic. Yes, it's San Marino. Now, Una Voce per San Marino 2024 has just finished and a bit of a shock for some because I think some were expecting Loredana Berté to be announced as the winner, but it isn't. It's uh, Megara, who some of you will know from Benidorm Fest in Spain last year. They've won with the song uh, either Undici Undici or Once y Once. I'm not sure how to say it. 11, 11. Um, and I'm going to give the performance a watch and let you guys know what I think. But before we do that, please make sure you subscribe to the Overwatch channel. Hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our videos. But let's not waste any more time. Let's dive straight in. Okay, pressing play. Can already see lots of pink. Okay, so we've got like some pink furry S and M. I wish I understood the lyrics, because, wow. A lot of angst, I mean, she's got a great rock voice. What are these dancers? What are they got on their heads? Ooh. So I don't know if the song is like my kind of song, but the performance is interesting. I just I'm like, transfixed by these dancers. Oh, now they're revealing like skeletons. Oh, they look a bit scary, man. Oh, what? We got like some kind of like ninety sounding Spanish guitar. Do you know what? It's going to be another performance to get everyone talking. We seem to have a lot of those this year. Do you know what? Though? She's got an amazing voice, the singer. <laughs> oh, they're freaking me out a little bit. Wow, and how much stage presence has she got? Oh, a little spooky laugh at the end, but there we go, San Marino, Megara. You know what, guys, like I said, this song is probably not my kind of song, like, there's no getting away from that, but for what it is, like it's gonna grab people's attention when it comes to being on stage in Malma. It's another one, we've got a lot of these songs that are gonna be like real talking points this year and this is just added to the list. People are gonna wonder like, what, uh, what is the performance about? What's the songs about? What is uh, these kind of dancers with the white faces and the pink skeleton bottom? I mean, I had no idea what was going on. But what I have to say is the lead singer of Megara, she's got a, a, an amazing voice and lots and lots of stage presence. I don't think you need to worry kind of about the performance when it comes to the stage show in Malmo because she seems like she's got bags of confidence um, and is really going to be able to work 
to the camera and work to the audience. So um, that's a real plus point for San Marino this year is that they've got an artist that already seems like an established artist um, and you know they don't really have to worry about the the live and with the song in this style as well the vocals can be slightly off and it's not really going to affect uh, the performance um, uh, they've got a real opportunity here I think to work even more on the message of that performance and make it even more out there uh, even more of a talking point and I actually think San Marino have got a really good chance of qualification through to the final this year. I think a lot of people are going to gravitate towards this song. If that's your style, then you're really going to love this performance. I love that it's a rock song fronted by a woman as well. Um, yeah, it's going to be a, another real talking point uh, this year. Uh, but guys, we'd love to know what you think of San Marino's song for this year. So drop a comment down below and let us know. Otherwise, go and follow us on all of our socials on Twitter, TikTok, um, uh, the others, Insta, Facebook. Until the next video, see ya.